So I'm Chris and this is my wife Carly. And we have three sons. We have a 21 year old and he's up doing his thing, working. And then we have our two younger, which are Banson, who is eight, and Luca, who is four, both which have attended and currently attend these here at Aspire. Sleep is made for dreaming. And I have dreams for you May you never lose the wonder in your soul We felt uh, with both our kids um, They just weren't really hitting their milestones Especially their big milestones um, When they should So we just really wanted to be supported And kind of learn more about uh, how we could work with that They both went through a diagnostic clinic Here at Aspire and both diagnosed with autism as well as a global developmental delay. Vanson was, like I said, he was showing a little bit of delay in his milestones and so we had a friend who worked closely with children and just was around Vanson a lot and kind of mentioned Aspire to us. Uh, we had never heard of Aspire before so we didn't know what it was all about, what we were really signing up for. And with that, we signed up for the EASE program as well as the TAC program to put Madsen into those. And with that came a diagnosis for him. Never lose the wonder in your soul. May you always have a blanket for the cold. Vanson and Luca, we kind of noticed, like we, we knew what to look for uh, because Vanson was behind in his milestone. So when we did have Luca, it was really easy to look for the same things. And we did kind of notice um, similar milestones that they were both not hitting kind of in the same way. So um, that's with Luca too, it was, that's how we really noticed that we needed to come and come yeah. back. Both Vanson and Luca are nonverbal, so that's been a huge thing, is giving Vanson a device to speak, teaching him pecs, a little bit of sign language, which have all been really good tools, and he uses to this day. Um, with Vanson, um, when he was, before he uh, came to Aspire, um, he was very in kind of his own little world. He just wanted to play by himself um, and kind of free play. And then we noticed once he came to Aspire, he was really um, doing a lot of parallel play, playing with his peers and really growing in that area. And that was huge for us. Learning and knowing a lot more about um, autism and uh, those kind of things through Aspire, um, it's really helped us um, grow uh, personally, but also kind of help others within our community or family understand more about kind of what we go through on a day-to-day -day basis or um, uh, just giving, giving the right information and, and getting people to understand where, where mm -hmm. things kind of come from. Um, I think a big thing for us was um, being able to come into the school and actually watch them grow and learn and be a part of that. I think that was really huge for us. I think it can be really scary when you hear a diagnosis for your child, but I think it's also really important to know that there are supports out there. And just knowing that you do have such an amazing place that you can go to, to like I said, be supported and have a safe place to go and to be heard and um, yeah. Yeah, we're just extremely thankful. are for jumping, fields are made to run. Stars are made for counting and for wishes coming true. Sleep is made for dreaming and I have dreams for you. May you never lose the wonder in your soul. May you all and my husband, so Madison and Mike. We have one son, Gage. He will be four in July. Uh, I myself am from Central Alberta originally. Mike is from Smithers, BC. We've been in Smithers for the last several years. That's where Gage was born. And 
Aspire brought us back to central Alberta. May you always have a blanket for the cold. May the living light inside you be the compass as you go. Northern BC doesn't have much to offer for special needs kiddos. Um, Aspire has been a part of our family for over 30 years, so we're aware of the services and the people in the community that you guys have to offer. So Mom used to work here as a teacher. Uh, she had a number of roles, all of which I cannot remember. It's always been a, a positive experience and a positive place for us. Our only official diagnosis to this point is epilepsy. Uh, so he has myoclonic atonic seizures. Uh, the atonic part is where they lose all muscle control. So he will essentially fold at the hips and just, so if he's walking, he can eat the floor like that. Okay. He's so fast, you cannot save him. It is so frustrating wow. and so hard to watch in such a little boy. Uh, so September was his first, first month here and he's just starting in the EASE program and absolutely loving it. His self-confidence, like just his presence in the world is just he's so happy and outgoing now and he's no no cares wants to see everything see everybody but just him coming into the facility every day being excited getting to see some of the same faces but new faces as well and busy energetic children are just made a world of difference for him without the support it was a lot more of fighting with him, trying to figure out how to mentally and physically stimulate him while uh, he's got a number of sensory issues, his overstimulation issues, it was challenging to get him out in the world and get him socialized, stimulate him mm -hmm. um, with the sensory issues, he never used to touch grass, so you couldn't go outside, he didn't like the snow, he didn't like grass. Um, it was just challenging to go places, do anything with him. It feels like you're always saying, you know, you have to just micromanage absolutely everything they're doing on for safety purposes, right. but it feels like you're always saying no. And the staff is definitely helping us to broaden his horizons and just kind of open up the world for him. I think it's given us hope that he's going to be okay in the world. Oh.